hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we will just protect our full power system from generation till the load so here i am generating my voltages my power and here is the two loads attached i am using two transformer the yellow one this is the step down transformer and this is the step up transformer then i am using the circuit breakers that are pink in color here I am measuring the voltage and current by using three phase via a measuring block and these are represented by the light blue kind of color. Then I am inserting my fault by using three phase fault these and the fault are external these are stair generator 1, stair generator 2 and stair generator 3. And these two green represent the differential protection relays for transformer number 1 and transformer number 2. How these are designed I also put a video in link in the description and I tell uh, step by step how you will design differential relay protection. This is my over current relay and I also put the link in the description for this video as well. This is the under and over frequency relay. So first of all let's just run the simulation without inserting any fault and the simulation is run for 0 0.5 second. This is the frequency output. As it can be seen that all the frequency are exactly the same. Then these are my the voltages values be after transformer number one and this is the current value after transformer number one. This is the voltage value after transmission line and this is the current value after transmission line. This is the voltage value after the transformer number two that is step down transformer and this is the current value after the trans uh, after the transmission tra transformer number two. Now for example I want to change the frequency. The frequency is changed from 50 to 60 for example. Now if I run this simulation I should observe that this relay should operate. Double click on this. Here it is. It operate. When the frequency fall from or uh, rise from 50 to 60 it operate. Now if I change the frequency from under matlab, I change from 50 to 40 then it should also operate it will take a very short time because it's a very heavy program you know double click on this here it is it operates right so if the frequency out of the range that is plus minus one percent of the normal frequency then it will operate it will get back to 50 now if I want to insert the fault at transformer number one so I will insert it at here and click OK now run it again and let's see the result of this scope here it is it generate a fault at this point right and it detected now if I want to let's get back and remove this fault I want to generate a fault at the transmission number, transmission line. For example, there is a fault occur in my transmission line, so my over current relay should operate. I just run this and I will see my result under the current scope. Here it is. When the fault occur, it interrupt and it detect the circuit breaker operate. So let's get again remove this fault. Now I can I assume that there is a fault at my transformer. So how will the it will operate? Let's just insert a fault with the value of one. Run this. And here it is. Double click here it is. It's just interrupt my fault. Right? Now let's get into the detail of differential protection. Double click on this subsystem. How oh, here it is. Here it's input number one and input number two. This is before the transformer or the primary side of transformer. This is the secondary side of transformer. Both these currents are compared and if there is a difference between these two, it will be generated. And I am absoluting these values because if I get negative value, it should be converted to positive. And then I can configuring or I just can uh, 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 comparing with the pickup value that above which relay should consider as a fault so that is 4.24 and if these values are these major value above this it will generate a signal 1 and I am using SR flip flop and a given condition it is 0 at the initial because it will keep the output 0 when there is no fault and I 
I'm using AND gate if there is any fault in any of the line I should get uh, uh, if there is a fault at three lines I will get an output and I'm using double because this is a boolean output of the AND gate and it will convert to, uh, to the uh, you know uh, double value integer value or you can say and this will protect my transformer and this is my the over current relay i am just ge getting the currents and i am just comparing with a constant value that is over here that is 2.714 and i am just rest of the procedure is exactly the same and this is the differential protection pro transformer number two exactly the same i am just comparing these two two input is and if these are generated some uh, errors or you can say the difference then I will generate uh, it will generate a high signal and it, it will operate my relay so this was a complete protection my transformer uh, power system so how you will design and how you will put each components I have already made videos you can check out the description or you can visit my channel thank you so much